tie them into candlewood sweets. And this is where I'm going to do my cooking video. I'm on the road and of course I always bring my fishing poles. I have seasonings with me. I actually have my rice cooker with me. And today I am going to cook my meal on the road in the candlewood sweets. What's nice about this hotel, if you want to call it a hotel, whatever it is, is that it comes with a little cooking area. And it's actually pretty well fitted out with um, almost everything you need to cook a little meal. There's some pots, pans, utensils, they're not that bad either. There's an actual dishwasher, uh, microwave, I don't know, some kind of sensor. I don't use microwaves, but it's a microwave in there. There's a full-size refrigerator. There's actually some dishes, things you need to cook a meal. I come along with my own seasoning, and I actually have some of my own uh, plates. But this is where I'm going to do my meal today on the road with the dreaded fisherman. So what I am going to cook today is this Spanish mackerel that I caught yesterday. Nice Spanish mackerel. I have actually never ate a Spanish mackerel. So it's gonna be a first time for me eating a Spanish mackerel. Put up a nice little fight. I had an ultralight rod. I was actually catching these fish called silver trout. They look like a speckled trout, or like a weak fish, but they're smaller. And this guy hit the greenback that I had. Since I am in a hotel, it's gonna be a pretty simple catch and cook. I have some things with me, but I don't have everything with me. So let's see how this comes out. I'm just gonna give a quick shout out to my friend Trish, who sent me this. Cast King filet and knife for my birthday. Going to use that up to fillet this fish on the boot. So these are the fillets that I got off of that Spanish mackerel. And these are the ones I'm going to use for this on the road catch and cook. Cooking it in the Candlewood Sweets. A quick note about this Spanish mackerel that I just laid up. They do not have scales. So there's actually no scales on this Spanish mackerel. It's laid up nice and easy. Uh, I'm going to season it up. The meat looks really nice. Um, it doesn't look as oily as some of the other mackerels that I've had. But I'm going to clean this up the rest of the way and I am going to season it up. So I have some um, Himalayan pink rock salt and some roasted garlic and some smoky pepper Arica chipotle I am going to season this up with. So I season up both sides of this Spanish mackerel with the uh, Himalayan pink salt gar roasted garlic seasoning and the smoky paprika chipotle seasoning that I have with me. Season up both sides, not heavy, lightly seasoning. I wanted to taste the fish, see what it tastes like. So to go with my fish, I am going to steam some broccoli with Himalayan pink salt, roasted garlic seasoning, and some butter. Steam that up and that's gonna go with my. And like I said, I brought a rice cooker with me and I will be uh, eating some wild grain rice with some sweet peppers that I put in there. So what I have here using the Candlewood's pots and pans is a pan with some extra virgin olive oil and some butter that I am going to cook the Spanish mackerel in. You can see the broccoli steaming up nice. Got a little steam machine going on for the broccoli. And now we're gonna get that mackerel a fry. A saute. One thing is I really can't stand electric ranges though. It's hard to, for 
for me to judge and gauge the temperature. But here we go. Put my fillets in. I'm putting meat side down. Get my fillets in there and I am going to saute those bad boys up. Quick note, most of the time when I cook fish, fresh fish, you don't really smell fish, like it doesn't smell what I guess you say fishy, even though it's supposed to have a fish smell if it is fish. The mackerel does have a little bit more of a fishy smell than a lot of the other fish that I've cooked. So it does have a little fishy smell, it's not obnoxious or anything, but just to say it does have a slight fish smell. Gave it a quick little turnover. Mm, look how beautiful that looks. And the slight fishy smell, actually, strange enough, has disappeared. Like I don't even smell that slight fish smell any longer. Which is kind of odd, but I don't. And look at that nice color on that Spanish mackerel. Here you have it. The dreaded fisherman's catch and cook on the road edition cooking up this meal at a candlewood sweets hotel spanish mackerel with a barber's kitchen smoky jalapeno tomato chutney on top a mixture of wild grain rices and some steamed broccoli. All right, good people. This is the dreaded fisherman. And remember, I am not a chef, I am just a fisherman. I am holding the phone in one hand while I do this taste test because I do not have my tripod with me. But let's get into it and see what it tastes like. Looks good. And actually, like I said, it doesn't have any fishy smell now. It started out with a slight fish smell, but that disappeared. Oh my goodness. That is really, really good. I'm just tasting the fish itself. Oh wow. Spanish mackerel is very good. I'm going to put a little bit of a uh, Barbara's Kitchen's smoky jalapeno tomato chutney on it. See what we have. That, my friend, is a very good taste. I hope you try this meal. Get out there and catch yourself a Spanish mackerel. And once again, you are watching The Dreaded Fisherman. Tight lines and enjoy.